Hello and welcome to Planet Stronghold. I'm RMP792. A uh, couple of quick notes before we begin. This is another Winter Wolves game, as you will have seen just then. They are, of course, the same people who made Lorraine the Amazon Princess, which I very, very much enjoyed playing, so I figured, ah, what the hell, I'll check out some of their other stuff. And as a big sci-fi fan, this one kind of appealed to me. So this time in the old options menu, I've deliberately whacked the volume down a bit so that hopefully I won't be getting drowned out again. Uh, my audio test seems to have gone okay, but you know, the audio test for the last one seemed to go okay, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to leave the difficulty on medium. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is another one that's almost entirely text driven. So you're going to have to put up with my dubious voice acting again, but you know, people seem to have enjoyed that from the last one, so we'll see how that goes. So, yeah, I've, I've got the bonus content as well, incidentally. Which I think is just some additional weapons and things like that, but that's fine. So, shall we begin? Chapter 1. The Arrival. Ah, select your hero. Alright, male or female. Alright, well, because I usually do, as I mentioned in previous videos, I'm going to pick the female hero, because... It's just the way I prefer to roll. So let's go for Lisa Nelson. Please select your game difficulty. Fight enemy strength. How many skill points you get? Yeah, so I'm just going to go for medium. This is the default difficulty level. Win most battles. Try in different combinations. Yep, fair enough. Fine. Cool. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> I've just finished my training at the military academy, and I'm already on my first assignment. I've been assigned to Planet Stronghold. Hopefully I'll be stationed there a while. It's called Planet Stronghold because it's the most well-defended human planet in the whole galaxy. Yet recent widespread rumours say there are some troubles on the planet itself. I don't know why I was assigned here. Normally only the best soldiers make it to this base. Not that I'm complaining about it, of course. You! Are you Private Nelson? Lisa Nelson? Pleased to meet you. I'm Lieutenant Schatz. Welcome to Planet Stronghold. Tom Schatz, Lieutenant of Planet Stronghold Army. Listen, I've been busy and I haven't had time to read your full profile on my PDA. Would you be so kind as to provide me with some info? We walk into the hangar zone leading to the inner city. Of course, sir. What would you like to know? First of all, in which field did you specialize? You can now select a character class. Following the screen, review your choice. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so is it going to tell me what the difference is? I'm probably going to go for Soldier, because I like a basic class first time I uh, play. Ah, yes, of course. The most common specialization. This specialization is very useful in an array of situations. Soldiers are well trained in combat and know some useful skills like lockpick, explosive, and repair, but are the worst class in using psionics. So light weapons, evasion, repair, lockpick, explosive energy weapons and armor. Cool. Are you sure you want to be a soldier? Yeah, probably. During the game you can access several screens by clicking on the icons to the right of the dialogue window or pressing special keys. Fine. Top icon lets you review your current party members, inventory and skills. Press it button. Okay, access with the I key. Cool. Okay. Fine. Yeah, so I've now got some new bonus guns, so let's have a look. Okay. Equipped. Okay. So, 4 to 5 damage, which is that high accuracy. So, it's, basi it's basically the same as that, but better. So, let's equip it. Poison Sniper Rifle. I'm assuming that probably means I can't equip it. Ah, let me guess. Each one's good for a different one of the four classes. That's fine. Let's go back. You will also be able to assemble 100 new weapons and armors using the metal scraps you loot from enemies as currency. Just visit Lucille to assemble the new items. Excellent. I'm eager to start my training, sir. Good. I like your enthusiasm. Hold on. 
Look there, those robo ants. They're attacking. Robo ants? They don't sound too friendly. Anyway, it looks like my training will start sooner than I expected. You're about to see the new enemy screen. It appears only before battles with enemy types you have never encountered before. You can access the enemy info again through the Hollow Encyclopedia at the scientific lab later. Fair enough. Okay, I quite like that design. Admittedly, the rocket launcher hand looks kind of ominous, but... Okay. What can plans? Uh, I better play the tutorials. Let's see how this goes. Enemies info. Okay. Continue. Excellent. Current hit points, sign hit points, small icon drop setting, equip weapon and armor. Okay. Okay. Different attack mode. Useful. We're getting some HP and PP and get a defense bonus. Sinic options if your soldier and your Sinic skills are limited. Fair enough. Different statistics, min max, okay. Fine, 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 fine. Ah, lots of different lots of different uh, damage types. I do like that in a game. Okay. Cool. Regain skill points using their variety of attacks. Well, okay. So let's start with you. And these guys seem to be vulnerable to energy weapons, which I think that's what that uses. Not sure. Actually, no, I think that uses armor piercing rounds by the look of it. Okay, so let's do an aim shot. Click to attack him. Four to six damage. Five to six damage. Yeah. Okay, let's just do normal attack on this guy. Hit for six damage. Good. Hit for five damage. Hit for five damage. Okay, so that pistol's pretty accurate. What are you using? Ah, you've got what appears to be an energy weapon of some sort. So you use burst fire on this guy. 11 damage. Misses. 12 damage. Pair other, so he's... Okay, so they're healing each other. Annoying but tolerable. Right. How much enemies hate this hero? Okay. Alright, well, let's do another set of normal damage on this guy. Hoping that would take him down. You aim shot on that guy. And he's out of here. So he's taking a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Okay, lower accuracy. 60% accuracy as opposed to 75%. Take the shots. Come on, one more good hit. Okay. You aim shot. Take him out. Excellent. Ah, so he's on level 4, right? Okay, I can officially say I quite like this music already. <clears throat> you fought well, Nelson. Thank you, sir. You've already made quite an impression, and you've only just arrived. Come on, Tom. That was an easy fight. Only give credit where credit is due. We don't need any more new recruits with big heads. I've got plenty to give you if that's what you're going for. Thanks for ruining the mood. Uh, uh, pleased to meet you, miss. Rebecca Fox, Sergeant of Planet Stronghold Army. My name's Rebecca Fox, Sergeant Fox, best scout in the entire colony. Sergeant Fox is a big talker, but she honestly is a good sniper. Damn right I am. I don't know if I can handle this lady. It is a pleasure meeting you, Sergeant Fox. My name's Lisa Nelson. Nelson? That sounds familiar. So who... What were those robots? Why did they attack us? 
Those Roborants are used for training here at the base. I don't know why they attacked us. It's never happened before. The two glance at one another with a serious expression. I think they may be hiding something from me. But I just arrived and I can't insist too much, so I don't pursue it further. A strange welcome, no time limit. So let's have a look at the uh, quest. Excellent. Let's go back. So, what will I be doing here? You'll be training for combat and continuing studies in your specialization. Though I have plenty of extremely skilled instructors stationed here, myself included, obviously. That fight was nothing compared to what you will encounter in the future. All your enemies were the same kind. The real fight begins when you're facing different kinds of enemies, and the challenge starts when you're having to dodge combined special attacks. I see. It sounds exciting. I'm eager to start my training here. May I ask one thing, Sergeant Fox? What is it? You said my name sounds familiar. Hmm? Oh yes, my father used to tell me stories about a general named Nelson. If I remember well, his name was John Nelson, and he was a hero on this planet. Oh really? Yes, it was thanks to him that we managed to settle here. He was key in repelling the alien invasion in the founding years. We can't be sure about that. What do you mean, sir? That war was ferocious, and many data archives were completely destroyed. We have no hard evidence, so they must remain legends, unfortunately. But still, I've heard of that Nelson as well. Oh? I'm honoured to carry such a famous name. As you should be. I expect great things from you now, you know. I pulled up your personal file on my PDA Nelson. It says that you lost both your parents when you were a child. Yes, sir. I was only five years old. I don't remember much about them. I knew that they were both assassinated on my home colony on Mars. I was raised in an orphanage and then decided to join the military. Curious. Your father worked several years here as a scientist. It seems he was working on a cure for some new diseases discovered on this planet. And your father's father was born here as well. Silence fills the room. Are we all thinking about the same thing? The coincidence is baffling. Could I somehow be linked to that famous Nelson? His niece? Or is it something else? My origins, no time limit, excellent. I'll have a look at that later. Let's move now. I need to show you the training facility. I'll show her everything, if that's alright with you, Tom. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I meant Lieutenant Schatz. Darn it. Yes, yeah, sure, you can show her. Sorry to disappoint you, but you've already done more than enough for her. It would be impertinent for a high ranking officer to stay any longer. Alright. I'd better be going now before someone comes looking for me. Nelson, follow Sergeant Fox and stay out of trouble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I follow Fox to the main building of the military base. I see her press a button to open the entrance, and we walk through a series of corridors. One after another. They don't seem to end. This place is a giant maze. Don't worry, it seems confusing at first, but once you get familiar with the e inner transport system, there's nothing to it. Yes, ma'am. We journey further inside and stop at one of the rooms. This is your room. You'll share it with another private. She's only been here a few months now. She turns to look inside the room, then steps back with a look of shock and disgust on her face. La Fur, this is a military base, not a fashion show. I'm, I'm sorry. I hope you'll take an example from Private Lisa Nelson. She doesn't dilly-dally all day. Yep, not exactly military attire. <sighs> hmm? I peer into the room from behind Sergeant Fox, and I see why she was so angry. There are clothes all over the room, and an upset-looking Michelle, who is not wearing her uniform. It seems she was trying on the clothes to find something to wear for an occasion, and not having much luck. Now go get changed. Your training's about to start. Get on top of things, Private. Fox stomps out of the room and slams the door. She's such an irascible person. I'm sorry she treated you so badly, miss. Oh, please, call me Michelle. Um, alright. Pleased to meet you, Michelle. The pleasure is all mine, Lisa. She smiles at me. She has a beautiful smile. She's perfect, really, with her red hair and innocent look. It's a bit out of place here, to be honest. Well, I'd better go change, I guess. Yes, you don't want to make Fox angry again. 
Now you have the chance to play the training chapter of the game. If you've already played it before, you can skip it completely. For, yeah, I'll, I will play the training. I begin to unpack my stuff. I look over on Michelle's bed and notice a very nice pistol lying there. Let's wait for her. I decide to wait for Michelle to finish changing. After a short time she returns, I comment on her pistol. Nice pistol you have there. It's definitely not your average gun. Oh yes, it's dear to me. I love it. Yeah, so I should boost to my relationship with her. What you just saw was a relationship change. Zero hate, 100% love, excellent. Fair enough. <laughs> Sorry about that, I really love my little friend here. It was a birthday present for my boyfriend. Well, ex-boyfriend now. Her shoulders drop and her eyes sadden. It must be a sore subject. She snaps out of it, grabs a hairbrush and starts furiously brushing her hair. We'd better hurry. Our training is starting soon. Follow me, I'll show you where the main training hall is. Hey, wait up! Hey. Training facility, flashing icon, blow to in the game room, map to... Okay. Excellent. So, where am I heading for? Oh, the yep, that's the training facility. So let's head there. We enter a huge room. It's really impressive. There must be hundreds of soldiers here, all aligned in several rows. In the center, a block of high-tech supercomputers projects holograms of the planet, along with many other statistics. Standing on the mezzanine in the spotlight, Sergeant Fox is speaking. Very well. Everyone is here. Let's start. 320 recruits. That's how many of you are in this room right now. Of those 320, only 8 will be selected to become part of the Royal Guard on the outpost of Planet Stronghold. Yes, 8. You all see the supercomputers in this room? They'll assess your potential with no possibility of mistakes. So don't think you'll have an easy life here. She comes down from the mezzanine and starts walking around. She's headed straight towards me. I don't care if you graduated with the full ratings or if your surname's the same as some famous hero. Well, that was clearly directed at me. You'll have to sweat your and reserve your place in history. She quickly turns her head and looks Michelle in the eyes. With a ferocious grin, she shouts, Am I clear, Lafleur? Yes, ma'am. All right. The droid instructors will explain the basics as a refresher for those of you who have forgotten. I will meet you again in an hour in the virtual battle arena. She walks out, still looking uptight. Several androids start splitting up the recruits into smaller groups. Each group is made of four people, except mine. It's just me and Michelle. Pleased to meet you. I am Android Instructor Lucille. I am going to explain to you the basics of fighting and party management. Tell me which topic you would like me to explain. Now, let's see. Party and inventory. Depending on the kind of mission, there may be restrictions on the party size, but in general, a party consists of one to four different heroes. In the inventory screen, you can cycle through various party members using the arrows in the bottom left menu. Each party member has three equipment slots, weapon, armor, and item. Weapon is what you use to attack enemies, armor is what you wear in battle, and item can be a variety of things, from healing devices to limited use weapons. For example, first aid kits can heal your hero. Each item has a limited number of uses. After they are depleted, it is automatically removed from your inventory. Weapons and armor do not have such limits. Let's access the inventory. Yeah. If we go this way, get a look at her. She's got that high damage pistol. And I'm assuming that's a pretty standard combat suit. If we go to the inventory. Now oh, I'm in the inventory, so that's the skills. So we've got some decent light weapon skill, but a decent evasion. Okay. Bit of lockpick, bit of repair. No real psionic skills. If you look at her, yep, she's very, very similar. Also a soldier class, so that's fine. Let's go back. Later in the game, starting from Chapter 2, the barracks will be regularly stocked with medkits and aqua pura, as well as new equipment based on plot advancement and side quests. Right, I think I can probably figure most of this stuff out for myself. One of the things with the Deluxe Edition is actually a strategy guide. If I need it later, I can check it, so...
I think I'll end the tutorial here rather than bore you rigid make with me watching it. Okay, enough talking about this. <sighs> so far, this is rather boring. <laughs> I agree, I want to get into the action. Oh, really? Very well, follow me, you two. You'll see those robots there? They'll be your first combat training test. But they're three and we're only two. Don't worry, Michelle, I've already met those before. Wait, there's also a different model. Yes, it's the Robo Ant Model 06, one of my favorite training robots. They have energy weapons. Oh, not just that, they can also hit hard with their special attack, Phaser Blast. Wait, that's not fair. Come on, weren't you eager to fight? Now show me what you can do. Yes, sir. Uh... Wait, recruit Nelson. Yeah, yes, Sergeant. Take that first aid kit. I think you'll need it. <laughs> yeah, I've got a first aid kit. Good. Let's equip it. Okay, I think I've already got some first aid kits. Yes, I have. Good. So, yeah. Special scope pistol, poison snap rifle. As I said, I can't use this stuff because I'm assuming it's meant for different classes, which is fine. Yeah, it requires heavy weapons and light weapons, sniper weapons, light weapons, and some skills in psionics. That's fine. I can probably either get those later by leveling up my heavy weapons a bit. Alright, done that. While playing this battle, try to pay attention to various damage types and the role they have in determining the outcome. Okay. Yes, I am a soldier, so stop telling me to use that. Okay, so we've got a new one. Half blast of energy, 10 to 15 damage, regardless of any target defense with 80% base accuracy. Nasty. Okay then, so... These two appear to be weak to armor piercing, and that's what I'm using. So I'm going to start with some normal attacks on this guy. Now this guy appears to be weak to energy attacks, so I'm going to use burst fire. Damn it. Good hit, good hit. Good hit. Good hit, come on. Darn it. Okay. She's repairing. Okay, so she's taking some damage, but she's still okay. And again, normal burst fire on that guy. Come on. I was hoping that would be enough to take him out of the equation. Because these two are immune to energy damage, which is what she's doing. Okay. Let's just use normal. Try to hit it. And fire. Eight damage, good. Come on. Come on. Darn it. Oh, gits are gonna keep, but uh, I'm gonna have to use a med kit on her, unfortunately. Use the item. Use the med kit on her. And you. Normal damage again on that guy. Don't miss him. Stop missing him. Okay, she's taking damage. Whoa, she's actually out of it. This is... For a very early fight, this is going very badly. Critical hit. Come on. Okay, this is going pretty, pretty badly. Right, aim shot, take him out. Okay, that's one down. Can I actually use the med kit to uh, get her up again? Oh, bother. Okay, so I don't have that. So I'm going to have to use the med kit on myself. I suspect I'm going to have to redo this fight, and this is a training fight. Yeah, battle lost. What the hell are you doing, Fox? Just 
training my soldiers? Why? That is a Model 06 Roboant, and you said these two recruits against it? We could have made it. That's what I thought too. I'm disappointed. It doesn't matter. The training protocols are to be followed. No more experiments like those, understood? Ass, that was deliberately designed to be difficult, was it? Yes, sir. As we move away to resume our training, I notice Michelle laughing. What's so funny? Nothing. It's just that those two. Fox and Chat. <laughs> that remind me of my ex-boyfriend and me. <laughs> you mean Sergeant Fox and Lieutenant Tom? Oh yeah, they fight over every little thing. I wonder if... <laughs> we look at each other for a moment and then burst into laughter. Come on, let's resume our training before the fox screams again. Alright, let's go. We continue our training, working hard. We're progressing well, but must split up to do some individual exercises. I lose track of time and Michelle. After I finish my training, I head back to my room, assuming Michelle did the same. Michelle, I'm back. Michelle, are you there? Yes, sorry I was changing out of my uniform. You have to be hungry after all that, I bet. Well, I ate at the barracks canteen before leaving, but... but... It really isn't all that great, is it? No, not really. Why, what do you have in mind? Change your clothes, we're going to the black hole sun. The black hole sun. That's the sort of club, I take it. It's very popular. Everyone goes there. You meet some interesting people, and the food is surprisingly good. Hmm. Come on, just a few hours. Alright, I'll come. Give me a minute to get changed. I'm ready. Wow, you look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I'm not so sure it's a good idea to bring you with me. You'll be getting all the boys. Oh, come on, stop joking and lead the way. Black Old Sun, a few minutes later. That's a really weird name. Here we are. Hope you don't mind the loud music. Uh, what did you say? Never mind, let's go find a seat. Michelle pulls me towards the bar. We find a quieter spot at the bar so we can talk. We both order something to eat and drink. Food is great. Told you, drinks aren't too bad either. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, you shouldn't be drinking so much. Oh, shut up, it's you who's not drinking enough. Come on. Oh, alright, hand over the bottle, I'll show you. Woohoo, I'm starting to like you. Just a few drinks won't hurt me. At least I hope not. The night goes pleasantly on, and Michelle is a surprisingly interesting person. Very outgoing, always ready to joke, not boring at all. Enjoying the night, Nelson? I recognise the voice immediately. Oh, Lieutenant. Relax, Nelson, that's not the job, you can just call me Tom. Michelle, I see you've already brought Lisa to your favourite place in the colony. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Tom looks at me. We stare awkwardly at each other for a moment while the club's music blares on. Then he takes a step back and directs my attention to the man beside him. I don't believe you've met Bellamy yet. Uh, no, sir. Veteran of Planet Stronghold Army. Bell Bellamy Dupont. My name's Bellamy Dupont. Pleased to meet you, Lisa. I've heard you've been training hard. Good. I like my people motivated like you. This is a great compliment coming from one of the veterans of this outpost. You'd be very proud, Nelson. Unfortunately, all the alcohol has come back to haunt me, rearing its ugly head, poised to ruin me. You really are a handsome man, Bellamy. <laughs> huh. Well, thank you, I guess. Haha. <laughs> well, I was actually for the good. Lisa, what are you saying? Luckily, Bellamy didn't understand that I was joking. He's anything but handsome. Oops, sorry, I... Lisa, get back to your room immediately. Yes, sir, I'm sorry about what just happened. Well, it's obvious that you're drunk and not in any state to carry on a conversation. I'll turn a blind eye to this, but for now, it's better if you go. Well, I guess it's better if we go now. We go? Oh, no, I want to stay a little more. But didn't you hear? I am not the drunk one making inappropriate comments. I want to talk to Tom about something. Hmm. Alright, good night everyone. The others salute me as I take my leave. I try to walk straight, but I have some trouble doing it. Good lord, how much is she drunk? This is going to be the longest walk ever. 
Right, I've just hit my timer, so that's a perfectly decent point to stop this video and say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.